All right, with my hatches, these are a dollar key holders from the Dollar Tree dollar store. All I did was bend the tabs all the way back so they protrude out the back the other side a little bit. And they hold baits. Awesome. They're not going nowhere. That's a dollar hack right there. Now up front, I have a battery under here and a battery under here, and they're wired parallel just strictly for this trolling motor here. For this guy, what I've done was I've taken the wires and bunched them up. I found an old pair of jumper cables, cut them, and what I've done was I just hook it up to this battery back here. So now I'm showing voltage here. I have a 12 volt adapter. I have a dual USB. And then I have my spotlight on the front. I have my stern light, which is also my navigation lights in the front, the LED strips I'll show you. Then this is for my bilge pump. This is temporary. I'm going to add another switch that has a on, off, and auto for the bilge pump. This will most likely be for uh, another spotlight, some smaller ones. And then this will be for my cabin lights. I'll do LED strips on the inside of the boat for night fishing. When I get my fish finder up and going, that'll be the power source for that. Let's check out the spotlight. This thing is cr incredibly bright. Let's turn our stern light on. That's on. There's your LEDs. I'll, I'll have links to all these products I use down in the description, but I took the 3M sticky tape off of there and I use Gorilla Glue Adhesive and I'll have that down below. And so far it's holding great. Here's another hack. These cheap Harbor Freight flashlights will go right inside of there and they'll stay in there and they'll move. When you turn your handle, they'll move with it, but they'll stay in it so at dark, you need to get in here, open it up. You got a flashlight right at your disposal. This is to my solar panel that I just sit right there during the day while I'm out fishing. Also right now, I'm gonna get a different hose. This is just a mock-up. But this is an automatic bilge pump. So this, I still got to drill through the side up at the top here and run out that out, but it is functional. A good habit to do is connect your drain plug to the actual boat. That way you never lose it. I still keep spares just in case you never know what could happen. The kids could be messing with it. This is a Millennium Marine boat seat in shadow grass. This thing is super comfortable and this thing is mounted to this track system right here and so basically if you're fishing you can have the seat in the center of the boat when you're driving you just press down slide it over and you're off kilt so you can steer the outboard back here it's an awesome seat this is the fulton outboard motor lock it locks over screw downs for your outboard you insert a key in there and turn it and it's a two-piece deal it's got foam in there to help keep it quiet it's a good theft to turn and it's pretty cheap my boat did not come with these plastic inserts so i had to get some of those and these fit a lot nicer they're not jangling around and everything this white seat i replaced with this guy to match you know the camo a wetland style camo i use that up front when using the trolling motor the anchor system this is a safety i made out of a rope you just pull it off there and run it back through there and take it off but if somehow breaking free this will hold it in place this right here was almost gray it was pretty gross what i done was i took a torch and I lightly brought the oils back to the surface. Didn't cost anything and it looks a lot better. Over here, we got another flashlight. We got a scale and we got more baits. Hidden tackle storage. And of course, you got these cup holders that fold up. They work pretty good. Fold back down, up out of the way. This right here is a broken drywall T-square. And I added a metal lip right there. And I took uh, double-sided Gorilla Tape and I stuck it underneath this ledge. That way, if you get a big fish, you want to measure it, it's out of the way. It's not sticking up over the deck. Plus, it don't look too bad either. And it was just wide enough to fit my boat. This right here is an antenna holder from an old camper. I took off, I ended up painting it. And what you do is you stick your net in there. It'll ride like that. Now this guy right here, 
These are some rod tie downs. So they're out of the way. Really can't even tell they're really there. But when you need them, strap your rods down on both sides. Put that on there and you're good to go. Back here is a universal Scotty mount. This is for cameras. I mean, they got all kinds of applications to use with this guy, but I've also added the tie off cleats. But this, I have a camera mount that fits right here. It'll give you a nice angle while you're fishing. And this is called snap mounts. These mounts use magnets. All you gotta do is attach your GoPro, you're good to go. They got fishing rod holders you can put back here. I mean, you name it, they got, they got it all. My gas tank within easy reach. I've added this guy for my stern light. I got a cleat over here. Now there's not too many mods left that I, I need to do. I want to do an LED strip up here, an LED strip underneath here, and underneath this lip right here. That'll be my cabin light. And then I think I'm going to add a few more spotlights that came with that front one. Some single ones on the back that can pivot maybe. But for the most part, this boat is pretty much done i'm not gonna do too much more to it it's a really nice boat i love taking it out on the water this boat cover is nice it does its job but these boat buckles are trash they have no teeth right there to grip this so as soon as you tighten it down and wind blows or anything you just even pull it from the other side it just instantly lets loose I mean, it's a good cover, needs new buckles. Beards and bows out.